How's it going today, guys? This is Dan with Tech Tip Tuesday. I got the lab put on today because today we're talking science. So a common problem I see every spring is folks come in they're, and their boat is running poor or their ATV and a big problem is, is water in the fuel. During the rainy season, if gas cap gets left open, anything like that, I've even seen it come right out of the pump, is water in the fuel. Anything from a little bit to their fuel tank half full of water is a huge problem. So one thing to note is that water sits on the bottom or underneath fuel. As you can see, the water quickly separates out to the bottom of the gasoline. Now, what ends up happening when the water sits at the bottom is that's where the pickup tube is in your motor, so or in your fuel tank. So what ends up happening is that's the first thing your motor is gonna suck up is that water. So a quick way to tell is you wanna grab your, on a boat motor, you wanna take your primer bulb, remove the fuel line from the end, and simply put some fuel in a glass jar like this. And you'll easily be able to tell if you have water in your fuel. Obviously, if you do, all that fuel needs to be pumped out and uh, that tank flushed out. That can be the tricky part. But a new fuel put back in, the fuel system flushed, and you should be good to go. Um, in an ATV or a snowmobile, you're going to want to pull the fuel line off of the carburetor or off of your fuel rail. That's the, the lowest point, and that's where you'll notice the water in your fuel. Um, on a five gallon fuel tank, maybe you accidentally left the gas cap open or something like that, maybe the vent got left off, you're gonna wanna shake that tank up really good and immediately dump some in a, I recommend glass so it doesn't melt from the gasoline and check for water. Again, the only way to get rid of it is to completely dump the fuel and start fresh. So hopefully that can help you guys out if you suspect a water in your fuel problem. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be doing these Tech Tip Tuesday every Tuesday some helpful hints to help you guys hopefully maybe solve some of your own issues, get you back on the water or back on the trail on your ATV and enjoying your equipment. So until next Tuesday, you have a good one.